hi there once again welcome to my channel if today is your first time visiting my channel consider subscribing and don't forget to turn off the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial my name is timothy ajokache and in today's lesson we're going to learn how we can convert word to words jpeg straightforward so that's what we're going to do so let's say i want to convert this address even if i want to just save the address as jpeg i can go ahead and copy everything right click and then go to copy after doing that just go to the paste option and click on what Paste special. This will give you a dialog box. Just select what picture into bracket Windows meta file and then click on OK. Once you are done, this will give you option to be able to save this into what an image. So right click and then you can see we now have what save as picture. Just click on that and then we can select where we want to save this to. Just select and we have different image options. So we can select JPEG and then let's try and then save this to what desktop. So click on save. Okay, so this will be saved to desktop as image. We can go to our desktop and just get a preview of that. And this is it. Let's just open this. And this is going to be in what image format. So you can see this is an image even though it appeared to be very small. This is actually in image format. So I'm going to show you a better way to do this to get all your components. So I'm going to show you a better way to do this. So we're going to use another amazing way to do this. So we can get all our entire file and what image so first of all we need to go to file and then go to save as let's select where we want to save this file and let me see i want to save it to my desktop but let's give a name to our file first let's say invoice five and then from the save as type let's select what pdf and then once you are done just click on what okay we are saving this to desktop and this will be converted into what a pdf so we now have everything in pdf as you can see and then from here we are going to convert everything to what either jpeg png or other image format so i'm going to close this and if you have photoshop you can use that if you have any other image editing platform you can use it or oh, yes so you can download any pdf to image converter from online and then you can use it just look for your file i think i have the invoice five from my desktop just drag it to photoshop just drop this on photoshop this way and it's going to give you an option just make sure from the thumbnail size select what fits and it's going to fit into your screen and click on what okay this is going to give you everything and picture format this so don't worry about the transparent background once you are done saving this, everything will be converted into what? An image format and the background will be what unique. Okay. Consider subscribing if you are new to this channel. Because I'm going to show you tricks, tips, and everything you need to know in order to start using Photoshop, other Adobe products, and graphic designing, and so amazing stuff using programming language. So for me, let's go to file and then we can go to save as. And then select any file option that you want so now we want to save as jpeg so go to jpeg and i want to save this back to desktop even though we have invoice 5 this is going to be a different format so we can save it and go to save as just confirm this and see once we select jpeg is making the background unique for us just click on ok and everything will be saved onto our desktop so we go back to desktop now and we should be seeing our image on desktop okay so if I go back, I think I can locate this here. If I open this, you can see I have this in what? F image format, I have this in image format. I can share with friends and other people on other platforms, places on my phone. And that is good. So I've done another sample over here. So everything has been converted into the JPEG format and you can share with friends. Thank you so much for watching this short tutorial. So like, come your way again. Remember to subscribe because I have a lot coming up. And you don't need to miss any of that. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.